right, tonight we're in Moundsville, West Virginia, at the old uh, West Virginia State Penitentiary. This place is reportedly haunted, one of the most haunted prisons in America. 96 executions by electric chair, tons of murders, all kinds of good stuff happened here. Uh, we're, we're on an all-night ghost hunt. We're locked in here from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. Let's see what happens. All right, we're starting our tour in the old chapel out here in the yard. Next area we're going to is the Sugar Shack. Uh, when prisoners and recreation time in the yard was a little too bad, too much bad weather. Uh, they would go down in this unsupervised rec room. They had pool tables down there, couches, a lot of stabbings happened down there, um, rapes. I don't think any killings happened, but a lot of supposed to be supposedly haunted place, a lot of ghost activity. Fess? Where's Fess? Do you hear that running water? Do you hear running water back here? Keep your cool. Not see much activity down here, are you? Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's dust particles or orbs or what? I already got one. Look. Alright, Fest still in the sugar shack. I don't know. Let's see if you see anything. You see anything yet, man? Nothing. Next area we're going to is the contact visitation area where uh, families can come and meet the prisoners and hang out and I guess play crafts or do crafts. Uh, 
I don't know what the hell that was, but whatever. We're heading there in North Hall. Contact visitation. There's some stairs. You want to go up the stairs first? You want to go through here? Oh. A lot of the inmate artwork. Unicorns. Prisoners love unicorns. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Not much uh, going on here. Is there anyone in here? Any prisoners? Any nasty, mean people in here? Nope. All right, so we're going to head up to upstairs to the psych ward. That door really leads to. All right, we're up here in the psych ward. Fess, you capture anything yet? Oh, yeah. Okay. Fess is going to lead us into the next room. So this cell right here is uh, an inmate named Pomeroy, who, when they had the prison riots, I believe, stabbed someone like, what, 31 times? Yeah. Something like that. There's but, something. There's something there. Something in there? In the toilet? Yeah. It's not a turd, is it? No, I mean, like, like it was right there. Okay. The orb was. Okay. Fess has found another orb. But this Pomeroy guy, uh, I guess he was in here. And there's supposed to be a shower drain, but I guess he was laughing maniacally one day. And guards came in here, looked at him. He was naked. That's what they do. It's like words, no clothes. And I guess he had the prison drain he grabbed. So the prison drain up using uh, the metal to castrate himself, but he wasn't successful at castrating himself, but he bled a lot. These cells, these, these cells have like Pepto-Bismol pink in there, I guess to calm, they found it calming for the inmates. All the cells in there. We're going to check out more psych ward area. Anything in there? Okay. I don't know if I'm going to let in there. It's like a bathroom in here. And a shower still. I know it's hard to see me, but this up here, I think that's just wind blowing. I hope it is. This is uh, the infirmary I'm going to show you now. That, or That's actually the psych ward. Uh, I guess they had a lot more beds up here. It's cool up here. It's really chilly. And 
I'm up here by myself. So we're up here right now, and there's some strange noises. This is a uh, inside the infirmary. It's pretty wild in here. Big open room I had just loaded with beds. That's weird in the bottom right. All right. What is it? What did you hear? I heard there was like something kind of like. Yeah. Know, someone was like aggravated. Yeah. So I don't know if we're just hearing things or the freakiness, but you are hearing noises in here. We're going more into the medical thing right now. I'm hearing her. That was, yeah, I heard that. It is a screech. Not the most comforting thing to hear is a screech while you're walking through an old prison. It's supposed to be the most haunted place. I think Time Magazine named it one of the probably the worst prison in America. I think it was like 1979. Of course, that's after a big riot. You see anything? And we're not very good ghost hunters. I'm not gonna lie. We don't know what we're doing. We're pretending pretty well, aren't we? <laughs> what you looking at? All right, this is what we're approaching here. More of the medical wing. You think this stuff wouldn't bother me too much since I work in the medical field, but. Sitting on the exam table, actually. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. What's in there? That's nasty. Oh my gosh, laundry. Dryers. to come up here alone by yourself, huh? Yeah. Did you change your mind? He changed his mind. Lots of activity up here. Let's see what's in here. I don't know what this is. There's Adam in that room investigating. This is a uh, artwork by Danny Lehman, whose name was Spider, who uh, was an inmate that I, I forget what happened to him, but he died a really gruesome death. I guess it doesn't matter how he died; he just died. wasn't good. Hey, Fez. Fessler? Yeah. Here's the radiology area. It's supposed to be a lot of activity. I said this room has. Oh my gosh. Yeah. A lot of activity. 
activity. More artwork of uh, Danny Lehman. It's actually all over in his uh, wing. There's another picture down here of a mallard duck. The guy had some talent. Murder is one of them, but I mean, that's a nice picture. Fess, where you at? Where? As you can see, you can get lost real easy up here. Anything good? No, I never. Uh-uh. Looks like this random bath over here. Uh huh? Random baths. Random baths up. Oh. Oh boy. That's nasty. It's awkward. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right, Fess, where are we going next, man? We're going to the cells. We're yeah. going to uh, check out and see if there's any uh, activity there. All right. What's going on? Oh, hold on. There's an administration building. I think we had we go in that way. Right. Yeah, I think we do. Let's check this out. Fess is going to lead the way. We're in the uh, administration building. Yeah. So, uh, let's see what's going on. Look at that. That's the, this is the only entrance into the prison besides the supply line. You can get in this thing. Does that spin around still or not? I think you might get stuck. I don't know. Right Administration offices. Uh, they need a little remodeling. High high ceilings, you know. That's that eighteen. Late 1800s. Wow. Okay, I almost wiped out there. But I didn't. Watch your step. Like, uh, it used to be a, a bathroom or something. Yeah? All right, look at this. All right, here's some... Uh, now this is where it gets fun. This is where the cell blocks are. This is where they house the most violent criminals. We're going to check those out. All right. This right here, this is where they ate in the cell block. Uh, two really horribly violent murders happened in here. I don't remember totally what happened, but it involved a lot of blood pouring out in like 30 seconds and the guy died. So, here's, these were showers. Lack of privacy. I actually get in there, look. Those were the showers. I'm gonna walk down to the cell blocks here. Okay, man, this is freaky down here. All right, this is cells four. Fester's gonna stay here, he likes it. Nice? Wow. Sometimes they had three men in these cells. These things are not big. I don't know how you can fit three men in here. I imagine this smelled pretty rank with all the BO. You know, prisoners can't be too hygienic. cell 13. It's an unlucky number, but let's check it out. Oh my gosh. This thing is tiny. Imagine that in the wintertime. It'd be a cold butt. I don't know how you'd fit three people in a cell. This is... There's nothing to this. This is an old school penitentiary. area we're going to is a uh, red Snyder's cell he was a 
famous. He was a leader of the Aryan Brotherhood. I don't know if that makes you famous, but that's what he was. He was the leader of the Aryan Brotherhood. Uh, he, this is Red Cell right here. He was violently murdered in here by a guy named Lassiter, who they took a hit out on him. And he, I guess he was, took a little too many pills the night before, and Lassiter came in here and stabbed him over 30 times. And his, supposedly he, he's one of the most active spirits in this place. I'm not seeing him or hearing him, but let me say, Red, are you in here? Red? Red, are you here? I guess not. We're going to check out these are some of the... These cells on here were the worst offenders. Uh, they kept them in cages here, cages right here, and this whole row, what they call this, like the animal section or something like that? Yeah. It was all the worst and most violent criminals, the ones that are just three or four life sentences. Yeah. Ah, oh, look at this one. One B tier rock. So this is interesting. Good lord. Yeah, stone walls. Somebody loved Axl Rose, Guns N' Roses. Here's a quote for, by Axl Rose. Guns N' Roses, David Allen Co. Welcome to the jungle. Yeah. My gosh. They liked uh, Hank Williams. They liked Hank Williams. Also, yep. I would not want to be this guy's roommate, would you? I couldn't do it. No, no. Especially if it was like a double bed. Yeah. Like no room in here. They can clean her toilet up. And order your feet on there. This is not. Yeah. Uh, Good drawing in there. And this is the cell of that guy that did all the murals named Spider. Uh, get out of the cell. Nice. All right. We're outside here in the yard. Nice razor wire. Uh, this is where the worst criminals, this is their recreation area. All right, this is the wagon gate, the oldest part of the prison. When uh, they had prisoners building this place, they actually housed them here. They hung them right here. And the gallows were up here. I'm gonna show you. That's the stairs that led up to the gallows. And you can see the trap door right there. And you see a noose. Yeah, holy what? That's right. All right, we're heading down to the boiler room right now. This is where R.D. Hall lived. The steps aren't too great. And I'm not gonna break my neck and die down here. And have to spend my life, everlasting life down here. Let's see. Yeah, this is an old creepy basement or anything. Good Lord. So the story goes that there's a guy named R.D. Hall, who is a, I guess the warden really likes him. He's favored by the warden, and they let him work the boilers and live down here, in this room right here. This used to be solitary confinement at one point also. This was the hole where they kept people for days and days and days. That's when it was a really, really cruel prison. But anyways, R.D. Hall lived down here. And a couple guys didn't like 
uh, I guess the tra- favored favored treatment he was getting. So they came down here and they murdered him. Uh, what they do? They skinned him alive, cut his hands off, uh, almost decapitated him. I don't know. It was pretty gruesome, but I always heard he was sitting on the toilet when this happened. Yeah. I don't know if it was back in here. Oops, that's water. Okay. Yeah, that's water. But I don't know if it was in here or it was. But this is pretty creepy down here. This right here looks like the bathroom. I don't know. But he, I don't know. That looks like the shower area, but it probably was. But they got prison justice on RD. Not sure what's back in there. There's more rooms. I think next we're going to head to the cafeteria. This is the newer cafeteria. We're supposed to have a lot of uh, activity. It's a very moist place, isn't it? All right. We're in the dining hall. Uh, Let's see. You want to go in the kitchen? All right. Supposed to be a lot of activity in here, they say. I guess I don't, I don't know if I asked the right questions or not, but I don't know if I'm getting any. Act- That's where they, they okay. all went down. Yeah. So it probably wasn't the best food, but you're in prison. So I don't know really what you expect. Let's see what's in here. Yep, here's the serving line. Yeah. They warned us about the coolers, uh, that there's, if you go in these, you're locked out because there's no, <laughs> there's no handle, so, yeah, I don't. Once you go in, you can't get out. Yeah, until somebody comes to get you. Did they say uh, they put someone in there? Beat him? Probably. Trying to get himself locked in there. You trying to get yourself locked in there? No. All right. So it's freaky about this place. It's how quiet it is. Don't you think? Why? going on this over here is a mural I was always heard that was painted by a person that was colorblind. It's actually a pretty impressive mural, if you really think about it. I don't know how many of you guys like truck driving and stuff, but this, this prisoner, he liked truck drivers. But behind here, and there is another unicorn. These guys loved unicorns. But anyways, back here was where the guards ate. If they wanted to eat in here as well. So they kind of segregated them from the uh, prisoners. So this right here is a guard tower. And what happened is, if you see, right here, 
they stuck the rifle out, aim, and all the inmates. Watch out, folks. Had to stand right behind this line. This happened up to the right. If they didn't, they would get shot. All right, we are going down the new wall down here. JK Block Fester is going to lead us in there. Cell block for you. No. This is where the riots happened. I think it was 1979. I guess this was just chaotic. There are four tiers in this area. And uh, during the riots, one of the guards, they, they, they grabbed him put a electric cord around his neck and tried to hang him from that top tier up there. You can see my finger. And it snapped and he came crashing down here. Well, he didn't die. And that wasn't good enough. So they decided to stab him, uh, just mutilate him, and they just stabbed him to death. It was pretty bad. Another inmate named Willie Hale was, he was a child molester. They decapitated him, put his head on a stake, cut off his genitalia, stuffed in his mouth, and they proudly displayed his head right up here. And that's why that glass is behind there. Here's a cell, so this, this one. A little nicer than the uh, ones on North Hall, as you could tell. I'm just kidding, they're, they're pretty bad as well. Fess was telling me, here's the showers right here, and he just did it out in the open. I guess guys are just lined up. There's three sprouts on each side. Yeah. This is the area you never want to be, is a prison shower. Don't yep, don't drop the soap. You gotta always throw that horrible joke in there, but it's mandatory. Look at it. We're gonna go up that top tier, and we're supposed to be a lot of activity up there. Yeah, man, it's pretty bad. There's shamrocks on there. Interesting. I don't know why this is blue, but. All right. This is the other tier in here. I guess they were allowed to do their own artwork in here. So far I haven't seen much activity in this place. But it is frequently chilling just how quiet it is. That's the thing that's I think the worst part about it being here. All right, we're on the fourth tier. I think this, wow, look at that. This must have been the control panel. Oh my gosh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So this is how you uh, open and close the cells. That is crazy. This is the top tier of the prison. Yeah. So during the riot, that's they threw. Gosh, that's how far that. That's how far the guard went down. They threw out their. They ripped their toilets out, their sinks, uh, mattresses, burning stuff. A bunch of animals, man. I guess you just locked himself in. Huh? Better. Hey, 
gotta be happy that opens. Now right, let's see what it looks, feels like to be in here. Now, I would not want to be stuck in this. You know. So I guess this wallpaper is made of some kind of, look, weird. Okay, uh, no joke here. We're going in a cell and I'm actually locked in this cell right now. Um, Fessler closed the door on me and uh, we can't get the darn thing open. So he went to give me some help. So hopefully I won't be stuck in this prison cell too long. Okay, this is currently the predicament I am. I am still locked in the cell. Um, can't get the thing open. All right, so I got uh, liberated from the cell by our tour guide from earlier. Basically, instead of using those switches over there, uh, they use these old manual levers. I don't know. Yeah, it's a weird place. There's some of the murals in here. 2K tier. You got this one. Very interesting artwork. And there's always the clown. You gotta have the clowns, aren't you? Yeah, we keep hearing some noise. I don't know what it is, but. So this is the uh, area where the, all the bad riot happens. So it's a little larger cell. Like a VIP section or not. It's the best criminals I have no idea. Huh? What? What is it? So we're about going to end our ghost and I think we've seen about everything. Uh, I don't know if we've seen any paranormal activity. And if we did, I don't even know if I'd know what it is. I'm pretty close and something like something comes out and scares the crap out of me. I don't know. But what I found here, this place is extremely creepy. And I did get locked in the cell. This fester closed the door on me. I would not want to go through this place by myself, to be quite honest with you. It is that freaky.